People are weird. People are weird. I just got a comment as I'm boxing up knives here. I just got a comment about a video I did uh, years ago. I replaced a primer bulb in a chainsaw, a particular chainsaw. It was a Poland. And uh, the title of the video was How to Replace a Primer Bulb in a Poland Chainsaw. And his comment was, I sure would have liked to have seen the saw crank up after you replaced the primer bulb. And I'm thinking, in what way would me cranking my saw up would have helped you replace your primer bulb? Unless you're insinuating that I replaced the primer bulb and the saw never cranked, which I didn't say that. I just, <laughs> you just got to shake your head and wonder sometimes. But uh, anyway... I'm shipping some of these knives. Okay, let me let me say this. I am not tip-top knife sharpener. I can get them pretty sharp. Some I get sharper than others. You know, I'm still learning. And uh, every knife I make, I learn a little something. And some knives I make, honestly, are a little better than others I make. But... On the average, my knife making gets a little higher and a little higher and a little higher, tiny little increments. And if you get two knives side by side, their one may be, you know, slightly better than the other. Maybe you don't see it, but I would look at it and say, yeah, you know, I could have done better here or here. But what I'm getting at is sometimes I send them out. These three neck knives, man, I got them so sharp, it's a little scary. So... This knife is going to Patrick, and I don't know who it's going to, whether if it's a woman or a man. And if it's a woman, women normally don't have strong hands like a man, so you have to be very, very careful when inserting this knife back in here because it's a distinct pop when it goes in. And you would hold it this way and pull it out with your left hand, maybe with your thumb, and then when you put it in, Hold it firmly and push this in until you hear a, like a snap. It'll take a few times to get it right. So I'm including this note, very sharp. Until you get used to removing and reinserting a knife into the Kydex sheath, please use extreme caution. So Patrick, if this is you, or if you're giving it to somebody, uh, this is your other knife here. Make sure that uh, you know you understand it's really sharp when it comes out of there and the other one's sharp too and this is jim's jim's equipment shed i don't want to show too much i got addresses so that's what i wanted to say about that sometimes these neck knives take a little bit of pop to get in once you do it a few times you understand how it goes back in but uh the first few times be careful because they're super sharp oh yeah let me just add this i think i have found the secret recipe to polishing uh, this is not acrylic like the other two. The, per the other two purple ones were acrylic. This is polyester. And polyester doesn't shine quite as much as the acrylic. But I have found the secret recipe. And I've ordered three more handles. I've ordered a red one like this from the same guy. And uh, two black and silver. They're blackish, mostly black with some silver mixed in. Sort of like this. Mo this is mostly purple with a little darker purple mixed in. Well, the ones I've ordered were red uh, and a little bit of black mixed in. And uh, I just got a comment. Huh. And black with a little bit of silver mixed in. So when I get those knives, they're not spoken for. I'm just going to make three more neck knives. And I'm going to do a whole video just on polishing this uh, acrylic polyester because uh, there's not really a video out there. I had to learn by making mistakes. And you can buff this too hard, and that's the key, is a gentle touch and bringing these up to 800 with water sanding. So we'll do a video on that when I get the other knives built. Uh, today is Wednesday. Yesterday was Doctor Day. Tomorrow is an all-day Doctor Day. So uh, Friday should be... A normal day for me unless we're going shopping and uh, the weekend and I think Tuesday we're going to go on a nice long motorcycle ride because it'll be sunny and okay let me get these uh today I'm filling gas cans and topping everything off and uh 
that's going to be probably the end of my day is tying up some loose ends around here preparedness wise see you soon it's here it's here it's here look at that beautiful beautiful wood oh my god that's just the most gorgeous freaking wood huh This is just slightly darker. I won't be able to put this on a Texas Rumble, but I can put it on a BC Special and uh, Texas a Swamp Rat. There's a few knives I can put this on. But uh, I took a chance and I ordered from my Russian friend, knifewood.com. See, PayPal stopped payment and this is how i paid for my wood and i love ordering from this guy because he's got some of the nicest wood and here here's the an example i mean it's perfectly square it's perfectly level plumb i mean you only thing you have to do to this wood is split it down the middle to make it you know scales and uh it always comes like this and it comes really well packaged well, because of the ongoing things, you know, I don't want to say the word, but begins with W, uh, I wasn't able to uh, order from him because PayPal stopped payments from going to that country. But he sent out a note saying that he had figured out a way around it, and I'm not going to give away too much. But my payment, when I paid for this, went to another country. And the shipment from the country that begins with R probably went to a proxy. And uh, apparently that's Miami, Florida. <laughs> so, you know, they're using some... Uh, what do they call it, a double blind shipment or something like that. When I was hauling flatbed, sometimes I had to be the person that did that. Like uh, I hauled paneling and I would pick paneling up right at the manufacturer in Chesapeake, Virginia, Warehouser. And they would give me a set of bills and I would have to write my own set of bills because it was going to a customer and the broker didn't want the customer to know how much he was paying from the manufacturer. So basically I was the middleman just like this person is. So I suspect that's what's happening, which is fine with me. Uh, you know, I don't know why PayPal wants to hurt the little guy because this guy's got a family and his whole family's involved in this and his whole family packages stuff up and I mean, uh, this is how I get it. Very well packaged and very, very well made. Top of the line. Best wood out there. As a matter of fact, this guy, uh, I'll show you this video. I just watched it. And, uh, hey guys, in the video, I'm going to give you specific. I'm going to shut it off, but it's move. See, see how slow my freaking computer is. That's why I hardly ever come in here. That's this guy. I'm subscribed to him. He makes some beautiful knives. And anyway, let me uh, forward this just a little bit. This is uh, Oleg. This gentleman. And this is Ali Knives getting a big box anyway he had uh, a contest I, not a contest he just say which one of these you liked and he was gonna pick somebody out and give it to him and it wasn't me so uh anyway i'm just letting you know there are ways around if you're a smart businessman and i think this gentleman is uh this is his facebook page and this is his, 
his website. Okay. I'm fixing to run to the post office and uh, mail these uh, to Jim and Patrick. And I'm going to fill up my gas cans and do a couple other errands and come home. So I went to the bank and uh, I emptied my bank account. So I have literally tens of dollars in my pocket and I'm going to invest it all in the energy sector. Here we go, 435, 436 a gallon. Well, was that a good dream? Did you catch up money? Did you catch that squirrel? <laughs> that was breezy. <laughs> nah, he doesn't often, not often. He was after something though. All yeah, all the time. She wakes me up barking in her sleep. No, go ahead. I'm, I'm just watching George, hey, George poke his little, whatever that throat thing is called. Maybe he's courting. He's throwing gang signs. Yeah, well, there was a female that ran by just a little bit, a little old and I know she was a female, because I see her all the time, and she's little, and, but she's real fat, so she may be getting ready to She may be a wood kids. child? Yeah, maybe. And then, this isn't George that's been on the door. We have a door, George. And he's huge. Yeah, I, yesterday he's I had big. to shoo him away from the door or else he was going to get hung up. And he sits on the door and throws his gang sign all the time. Hey, George. And then there was one on the, right there as you come in. And it waited right there. I went past him like five times and he just watched me go by. It didn't move or anything. That's a little one. That's a small one. Anyway. Tastes like chicken. I love my good guys. Hey, you know your life's pretty simple when you are excited to see your, your Georges. Yeah, really. I wonder how many people. <laughs> yeah. I wonder how many people uh, sit and get enjoyment out of little things like this. Come on, let's see that throat. Go ahead. Throw it out there. Do it. Oh man, that a weed eating. Kill me. There you go. East side. <laughs> yeah. I guess that's so they can show the full throat. Their plumage. Yeah, he's looking at us now. You're a handsome boy. Oh, thank you, Jesus, for this beautiful day. We need rain, and it's okay. And it's only 94. When I was a kid, growing up, this is going to date me, or not, that we did not have air conditioning. I went my entire school.
school graduated in school that did not have air conditioning. We didn't have, have air conditioning at home. We had one air conditioner that was in the living room and it was only turned on on special occasions and they didn't come around very often. I don't even know who those people were. And I didn't die. He's gone. He went over the other, went over the rail. 